how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? My name is Mr. Joe Dragon. Welcome to Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> of Cthulhu, baby. Now, like I promised back in my channel update video, I will be playing Call this great game. I played this game. I was already playing this game. Uh, I just beat it a couple, like a week or so ago. It's so fucking good. Uh, Enter the madness. Loading profile. I think I better actually delete the fuck. Oh, here we go. Like I said, this game is so fucking good. It's definitely, it definitely fucks with your head a lot. Like, it took me like literally 15 fucking hours to beat this game. Alright, Boston, 1942. Ed Edward Pierce, a veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. <gasps> oh no! I said, this game is fucking good. I love this game. It's beautifully. I love the whole. I love the Lovecraftian mythos. You know, frankly, I want Cthulhu for president. I don't want Joe Biden. I don't want Trump. I want Cthulhu for president. Because it's no different from what it is now. Enter madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft got some major shit going on in his head, I fucking swear. Oh, goodness me! Why am I covered in blood? Oh, that's a shark head! That's pretty fucking cool. Uh, look at this, look at how, look how beautiful this shit is. And the music, oh my god, the music is a, nice. Yes, this game is in a third person mode, uh, first person mode. There is some third person shit to it, eventually. Uh, look at this, look at this. Oh, I love the detail, the lighting is beautiful. The music is fucking annoying as hell, but still good. That's a bone, that's a fish. Tuesday night special at the China Express. That's a, what's that? That's a shark or a dolphin? I don't know. That's a shark. They sure do love eating shark, don't they? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. I want that for my room. That's my office. Yeah, see, I'm not going this way. It's locked. What a surprise. Can I pick this up? Oh, fuck, I can. Pension mitts. In my wake, hold along. Fate inescapably draws you on. Papa? The Papa, is that you, Papa? You said you're going for cigarettes, but you never came back. Yo, I love the detail of this fucking cave. Oh my god. Yo, I thought that fucking that shit was still alive. Oh, they killed Shamu. What a putrid offering. Oh my god, they killed Willy. Willy didn't get free afterwards. Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, the amount. Look at this. Looks like some Resident Evil shit. Swiss cheese walls. Don't fight. You 
have been chosen. That is some Lord of the Rings shit. Yes, the princess! The princess is the golem! 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 Let's get the princess! Princess! Come back, princess! Behold. Your future. Everything has already been written. Oh, I like those pendants. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Run, boy. Oh, he did. You like Yintai, boy? I hate whiskey. Why do you drink it? I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. It's been too long since I've slept in a bed. I wonder why I still take these things. I'm gonna take them apparently. Don't drink. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. What's this? The doctor. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay but i know if if i stop that if i stop the memories will return once of one of these mornings i probably won't wake up despite the treatment i began to hear voices in my dreams but they are different unknown they seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths what nameless creature is calling me and i got a fucking phone call Now see, these are the points. You get these points, you increase everything. Uh, medicine and occultism is stuff you have to, you know, as I say, discover objects. Just discover objects. So... Oh, I can't add shit yet. I don't have no points. Sanity is like shit you gain through, you know, stuff. Like you, you find logos throughout the whole game and everything else. Dark water. Places. Investigation. Inventory. Lost Battalion. October 7th, 1918. Alright. Turn that shit off. The music gave me a headache. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Nice. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Yep. Ah, I see this one. Lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is courage. Now that's getting screwed over by your fucking government. Dominoes. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A file uh -oh. has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Ah, now I can do points. Okay, so let's do... 
Let's raise this up a bit. So that's awesome. I had this up and let's do spot figures. Psychological. I, I kinda guess like the more you put in the points, the more it's like Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... Fuck up, bitch. I'm coming. You're not breathing hard enough. <clears throat> October. Sir, 24. I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Snob. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even oh, no. Her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Yo, that's am I supposed to pretty fucking it? tight. Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. I'll take a look at your fucking painting. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. When did the fuck did you bring on damn... <sighs> All right. I got it. That looks pretty fucking sick. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. I got it. I look kind of like that symbol. I think I'll order one from Wish. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. What the fuck is honking? A shipping label. Some of them. Some of this unreadable, but I can make out part of an address. Thir warehouse 36 Dark Water. The police report. It says the fire started at a dining room and climb, claimed the whole family. The police decided on a di domestic accident, but they nevertheless insisted on Sarah Hawking's mental fatality. Why? A press cutting an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a reclusive life. They're with their only son, Simon. <gasps> oh, no. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Your daughter crazy. Um...
The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Right, right I am. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. The bitch she is crazy. would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. Oh, hush. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not serious. Or I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that. That was just something come by. Uh, I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let us sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Good, now go do that. queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Hmm. Who the fuck All is honking? All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. I think I looked at everything. Then I was it? I see that. Learning of Medicine, Volume One. Yes. Medicine. I, I hate the fact that you know you gotta look at so much shit to get medicine in a cult. So that's what's gonna be a pain in the ass about this game. Dark water. Age forty one. Charles Hawkins, deceased. Sarah Hawkins. Not bad. Simon Hawkins. Occupation school. What, what the fuck else was his occupation be? Yeah, that's fucking tight. A cult. I actually like that painting. It's a pretty fucking cool painting. Alright. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is 
accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family as the only clue. She left her father a disturbing painting on a shipping layer, the address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. This place seems to be a starting point of Pierce's investigation. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to any place that has fucking whale bones sticking out of the fucking ground like that. I mean, I understand it's a whale, it's a whaling island, but damn. I like the light. The lightning reminds me of like a fucking Darksiders 2 Minecraft. You know, the Minecraft like soul lamps. Enter Madness. I night studio, that's right. We're almost there. Now like I said, I already played the game, so I know what his deal is, so I'm not gonna say it. Like I said, I love the Cthulhu mythos. The whole Lovecraft mythos about Cthulhu, about the ancient gods, the Scylla. Scylla, Scylla. I think that's one of Cthulhu. I don't know. But, you know, like the whole fucking, you know, mythos about ancient gods and shit like this. I think it's a fucking amazing story. I never actually read any of it. I haven't actually read anything Lovecraftian. I think I will. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. <laughs> Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Taco Bell wind. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. Yo ho. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Yeah, it's the Hawkins family that brings you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Yeah. 